<laughs> oh Welcome back to Push the Core Gaming. We're crazy. All right, All right so I have Max, gaming. I have Max BFG, and I have Max, uh, Max Chainsaw, which I never used Most in that uh, nice. other other thing. This All looks right. like something. It doesn't look like no, nothing. no. That's oh yeah, no. that's one thing I gotta do. Is this end boss of the game? No, no, no. This is I have one more to do, and then we get, then we shut down the well. Then we're that's it. One more what to do? One more of these. One more of these, yeah. So this is number two. This is number two. No, 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 no. that's what I heard. See now he's he's pointing to me. Go the night. Go here. How long did it take you to get there from the last one? Um, that was just that one room that I was fighting in. Um... That was it. Checkpoint reached. Chipotle? Is that what you just said? Chipotle! 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 Chipotle. Chipotle. Yeah. Chipotle. Right. So should when I say something like, if shit. you don't mind me asking, what's up with the wheelchair? No, I wouldn't I open would with that. Uh, Definitely no. don't open what with What do you that. open with, then? Hey. then? You just talk to her, and yeah, then, just, you know, don't... Uh, treat what her like of, a normal human what being. What kind of wheelchair right. do you drive? What do you, do you <laughs> do drive? Do say that. <laughs> do you have a rascal? Does your bottom half work? And I bet you that's going to open up. I just said, hey, I love cats, too. <laughs> yeah, I like cats. That's not bad. Nudge, nudge. That's wink, actually. Wink. Ooh! All right, so secret fan here at Push the Core Gaming, you're gonna, you know, experience Ken's online non-existent dating experiences. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Ken's Maybe. online dating experience. Maybe if she doesn't send anything back, then it's kind of a lost cause. Yeah, well, it's, and then no harm, no foul. It doesn't matter, dude. So I sent her a message that said, uh, "Hey, I love cats too." Right. I think is that a good that. opener, ladies? It's for it's the good whole enough. maybe one lady that listens to Push the Core Gaming. Nice. What, All what, right. Here you go. Here's a question: If you're a w lady, W L D. If you're a lady and you do, do on online dating, All right, what, the guy. what gets your attention when a guy messages you? Because you know they on, get like a thousand a day. Most women on dating yep. sites use it as an opportunity to practice flirting without being in danger is that true yes well i mean it, i'm sure in the in the gamut of it's, of, it's uh, of possibilities true. yes there are women who don't but yes and there are women who do a lot of women who, who are on those sites they just want to casually flirt they don't want to actually meet you i can't casually flirt it's a way to <laughs> practice that it's a way to you know non-threateningly yeah practice. that makes a lot of sense because uh yeah. and there's nothing wrong with it from I what i've great. i've heard unless you're leading some poor guy like me on. all right so this right. is well, quad them, damage them, their whole mission is to lead you on my friend yep and there's nothing wrong with it it's just what it is i have nothing to kill with this quad you know damage. what sucks about you know what sucks about being a human is we're not the pretty ones like in most other species on the planet. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I'm going to do a dance for like, you and show you my colorful like, plumage. Almost all plumage. birds. Almost all birds, like the male yeah. is the, the colorful, good-looking And good they're colorful one. so that they attract the unwanted attention. Could you imagine if men were ten times more beautiful than women and women had to do all the work? I, met, the I bet seen... if you were gay, I... you would think that. Men would be sexualized then. Maybe, dude. I... Because now men you, are sexualized. You, yeah, that's if true. you know the right women. Yeah, there are some women out there that will. They that will, are their whole per mission is to stir up trouble, and it's know. like a what good do you mean stir up trouble. Oh man, dude, thing. what do you mean stir up trouble? Thing. Elaborate. Have you never seen like a chick at the bar like with her friend mm -hmm. and? Because anytime I go to a bar, it's I just I don't ever go. I go if I'm playing a gig. Yeah. So like, or I'm there with people, just doing yeah, whatever. So yeah. I'm like watching people, right? Yeah. People and watching. I've heard, and I've heard this from other women. Yeah. Who are wise to this? Mm -hmm. But I've literally seen this happen where this couple walks in. Yeah. Right. This guy and his girlfriend, mm -hmm. and they're like, ha 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 ha, and that <laughs> one that of those like? girls. I like that. Ha 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 ha. Goes up. To the guy while the chick is like right at the bar or something. Yep. They're they're within eye shot of each yep. other, but yeah. they're not with each other. Yeah. The girl goes up to the guy and says something, you know, whatever, nonchalant, but like maybe puts puts her hand on yeah. his shoulder. Yeah. And like laughs. <laughs> yeah. And puts the hand on the shoulder and uh -huh. then goes back to her friend like this. and they watch the fight ensue between the you think oh, they yeah. do that on purpose? Instigators yes. and fire starters. Nice. That's why it's like, dude. Desperation not only reeks, but dude, manipulation. There are predatory women out oh, there. Oh yeah, dude. Why do you think most women like 
they fight so most much more women. than men. I wouldn't do. say most women. No, I'm not. I'm I do that. that. Women fight amongst culture, each other but that's way more than the, men do. That's partly the male dominance hierarchy that exists. And yeah, unfortunately, that's how it's a lot. It's all about alphas, man. Yeah, alpha and, male, alpha female, same thing. When the alphas yeah. are coming, you, you better, better start running because the bitch, bitch is going to rain from the sky. <laughs> wow. <laughs> A song. A song. Everybody sing Clearly. with me. Yeah, 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 it was a song. I didn't. I, you know, thank you. That was like the most By hipster thing you both said. One of my favorite <laughs> electro dubstep artists. Savant yo. Yeah. Savant yo. Savant yo. He put an interview at the end of one of his videos about how all he does is basically sit there and write. Music I believe and... it, dude. He pumps out songs faster than any artist I've ever seen. He pumps. He actually oh, looks like know, his avatar. He says he got into music by stealing his sister's CDs. <laughs> how do you, how does that that get sounds you like into, something you just know. say to like, sound clever. Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah, maybe it is. He seems oh, like I, a I got a music of so much. <laughs> Look at how cool I am. Buy my shit. Sorry. Oh, God. Dude, his music rocks. He became, I'm sure it does. That's not my point. It's just like... <laughs> my point is his music's awesome. I like a lot of his songs. I don't think he's the greatest... Temanite's one of the greatest, in my opinion. He's amazing. <laughs> but it's your style of music, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? No, I'm saying? Word. Stay proud, yo. Mm. What is that going to be? What is that going to be? Some dude. That's going to be a dude. He's a dude. He punches dude. That's yeah, a dude. dude. Oh! No. Oh, man. Since I have my phone out, I'm just kind of... Uh... I'm assuming she doesn't like cats like her profile says she does. Bitch. What do you mean? How could you not like cats? I know, right? I mean, I love cats. Meow. I like cats. Um. Just become rich and famous so you can buy all of your women. Yeah, that's a that's an alternative. Yeah. Why yeah. didn't I think of that, boys? Get on that. Durr. I mean, I don't know if you've seen pornos or not, but you can pretty much any amount of money can get like the <laughs> hottest woman to have no, sex with you. No, but I just love that. I don't know if you've seen porn or not, but... <laughs> have you seen this thing called porn? <laughs> like, it's, uh, it's like the most... It, it's like oh, a, the thing the internet was I mean, the, pretent I mean, the pretentious porn connoisseur. If 70-year-old men can bang smoking hot 18-year-old chicks, Dude, you know? that's all for show. It's all money. It's Dude, all that's what I, to it's make a, you horny. It's so all money. Buy shit. But I'm saying, how do you make a porno like that? You pay people, right? Yes. It's all about money, 100%. Of course. And drugs. That too. I'm just saying. The drugs are so that they can cope porn, with making that porn, their job. Look, I'm not, I have nothing against it intrinsically, but it is but it, very corrupt. I agree with you. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah, oh, yeah. very. Well, I hate, I hate when women say, dangerous. oh, doing porn and being a stripper and all that is empowering for women. Is no, it? it is not. No. That's that's a lie. No. Dude. It's what they tell themselves. So, and look, oh! yeah. it's, it's what... Oh! It's maybe to a point. Okay. Maybe some people, I but... Stuck. Right, the, the no. minority. And look, there are a lot of female, like, porn producers and directors. Mm -hmm. Right. And right. that's empowering. I would call them more rarity, though. you're still enslaving your own... You know, right. Well, gender. I've read lots of I've li I've read things written by ex porn stars and stuff, and they uh, most of them say the same thing that it's very corrupt. There's a lot of it's bad, basically. It's so bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's All right. Terrible. And you're right. Lots of drugs are involved. You know but then what? again, think about it. in order to like they would your... have to be involved. Yeah. Exactly. You have points and tokens to use, dude. Yeah. I don't know what to use them on though. Okay. So here's something interesting on uh -huh, Facebook. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I um, posted today, the door to opportunity doesn't always stay open for long. Right. Okay. Okay. So okay. I got a response by someone. He said, I'm struggling with a career decision right now, and I'm so aware of this. Haven't really had anyone to talk it out with. And uh -huh. I'm like, whoa, that's weird. Someone deep. basically just kind of, you know, deep dick in that girl. Get, like, like coming to me, basically, right? Yeah. I just responded, confidence, my friend. You know you can do it. Don't doubt yourself. And if the door closes before you get through it, then there will always be another one to go There's through if you see it. Good when luck. When a door closes, a window often opens. Or break into the door. <laughs> nice. Like get a lock bust pick. that door get down. A lock pick kit I like it. And make it work. Do you know the? It doesn't always work with the metaphor, though. No. <laughs> Do you know the uh, the Kobayashi Maru, the Star Trek reference? Uh uh. Like no one could ever pass that test, the Kobayashi Maru, like battle simulation, whatever. 
and Kirk was the only one that passed it. Not a Trekkie but like I thought you. he because cheated. It, it, because he cheated. So it's like, the you know what the Gordian Knot is? Mm -mm. Yeah. You ever heard the phrase, cutting the Gordian Knot? Uh-uh. Nope. So Alexander the Great visited some Persian province, and they had this Ah, the knot. Persian province. It was a knot of rope um, that no one was ever able to untie, and it was, like, foretold that whoever could... Who could, who could ever break this knot uh, would whatever, you know, all these bullshit religious things. Be um, awesome. Uh, you know, prophecy. Bullshit. Right, right. And he's like, he cut it. <laughs> he just cut the knot <laughs> with his nice. sword. Yeah. <laughs> and that's cutting the Gordian knot is like Breaking doing down the an door. impossible thing in an improbable way. It's just innovation. It's innovation. Yes. Nice. You know, so. Well put. Very scholarly. You know what? Scholarly. You know what? <laughs> Whenever I think of like how fighting scholarly. each other, you know what? Whenever I come across a situation where it's like I can't do this the the way it's intended to be done, and not by a way of cheating will you um, accomplish it, but by mm -hmm. a way of being innovative, like paying when you have sex. You know what it. I always think of when I think of in <laughs> innovation is that scene in um, Men in Black uh -huh. where they're all trying to write out the test in their little egg seats and it's just, they're just like it's a pain in the ass and he goes over and grabs the table which is like the most logical <laughs> right. stupid like it's so stupid that it's logical that yeah. that's the smart thing that's to do cutting the Gordian and they're knot. basically like that's <laughs> that's innovation is a lot of times just common but sense. that's how he passed the test though mm -hmm. right it's because he thought of a creative solution to a unique problem right. mm -hmm. but it, but at the same time, it wasn't that creative a solution. It was kind no, of like... No, but no one else was like, thinking was, about yeah, it. No it was kind of like the it's obvious... No one like, else did it. Though. No one else it's did it. It's obvious to right. you. You're, you're, you're laying judgment on the situation. But here's the thing is that nobody else in that in that moment thought to do that. And right. they might so have who, thought to do it, but, but they, they still didn't, didn't do it. They didn't right. take and action on it. that's the difference. The... Yep. And that's the type of thing that, back to plenty of fish and whatever, that's what women, people, are looking for. Right. And I, I, of course, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. To, it to might seem weird, but confident that in, yes. whenever I think of being innovative and just trying to like solve a problem, that scene comes to my mind all the time. That's great. I think that's a perfect mind uh, image to come. It's just funny that like most okay. most all people right. are I, I so am... drawn to people who are outgoing and innovative, yeah. yet yet the majority of people aren't that way. No, at all. Well, I think it's built on the envy, uh, you know, you're envious of somebody that is able to do it. Right. But you don't want to do it yourself because yep. we have an intrinsic well, thing to find the most, uh, like, lazy right. way of doing, That's right. why you know, people anything. Who are rich and famous can pretty much have sex with anybody they want. And we're back to and, that. All right. And it's we, true. It's It falls on the tell, same exact lines. Sex but drives the world, Alex. They tell it does. us, yeah, I, though. Well, I'm not doubting that. Most of those people are not actually doing that. I was just having this conversation with doing one of what? my students. Having sex with whoever they want and like every day is an orgy, dude. That's not you how You don't it think Justin is. Bieber does that? I don't really know Who what cares? Justin Bieber's doing <laughs> on the regular. He cares? probably isn't. You don't think Kings How many and, Kings times them, can like, you uh, have sex in a before day? Before it gets boring? No, just how many times can you physically have sex but, in a day? What are you saying there? Like, it depends people on who are the famous day. don't. Honestly, no, it depends all on I'm a day. Saying that is stuff? that this is all part of the, myster the mystique. That keeps I, okay. Let me give you the example uh -huh. that I was talking about with stuff. my student, who was like, "Man, I wish I would have started playing younger," because he's like in his 40s. Oh man, I wish I would have started younger. You know, I would be going on tour and like, and I'm like, okay, let me guess. The thing you're thinking, you're associating with with rock stars is screwing a bunch of different women, <laughs> knocking. You know, uh, that's not necessarily doing check marks it. on your. Oh, I. Oh, banged another chick. Notches in the bed post. Notches in right. the bed post. But here's yeah, the thing. They may real. not be banging Dude, different all... chicks every night. No, but they, instead of, like, um, uh, not having choices, they all of a sudden, like, look at Ken. Okay, when he was playing on stage, he said these young girls were grabbing at him, oh, basically yeah, trying to have sex. With, like, right there. It, you man. literally, it opens your options for that stuff. You can't deny that. Uh, no, and I, I'm not saying that every person is going to be like, yeah, every night I want to bang a different chick. That's You know, I'm not saying that's the goal. But I'm saying that when you have fame and when you have power, you have choices of being with basically a larger pool of people because they envy you, or because they seek, or you're, or you're someone who is ambitious and has power and but control. But to me, and that's stuff. grotesque. Dude, that is how the majority of human beings are, and I'm not saying the it's you, and I'm not saying it's me either. The but that is of the human majority. Beings 
believe that to be true. I and know they do. That's the most important thing. Right. It's not that it is but true. But that's the thing. You'll... They believe that it is. What is? What conceptually are you talking about exactly? What you're referring to, the options, like, uh... Those are, options do exist, I though. I get it. They do. Okay. But take, for example, oh, uh, mm. I don't know, a tray from Fish. Okay. Okay, one of the biggest goddamn rock I can't find stars the guys. on the planet. Mm -hmm. There's one more guy. Okay. He has been with his wife since, like, 87. I'm not saying there aren't loyal people, but I'm also oh! saying there probably are people who, like, okay, like, the lead singer of what? Like, Van Halen or one of those big bands. Like, um, I they got said it. That he could basically point Dude. to, like, different women in the crowd, yeah. and then he'd bang them after the show. Uh, sure. I think that was the like, Rolling like, Stones. So, like, I, a couple yeah. Rolling Stones. Yeah. I think. So that oh, stuff does definitely happen, We man. gotta wrap this episode up. I just took a really and long And I'm not key. saying it's Holy everybody. Crap. Definitely. Right. It, that's where your moral compass is and your own values and stuff, you right. know? You know if where you your moral compass should be? Super famous. Your moral compass should be on our subscribe button. <laughs> and the like, thumbs up on the video. And then also maybe a comment. You know, jump in with us. You know, let us Have know. Have we had a comment about a video? Off your we dick never get two we never get comments. I want all your love. I w and I respond to the comments that we do get when they do show up, usually. if, uh, But a lot of times they're just, oh man, I watched your video. It was great. You guys are amazing. Come which watch we appreciate. my Come watch my video, which is usually just uh, <laughs> someone just trying to get views or likes on their channel. Yeah. But we do want to, you know, um, associate with our audience if the audience ever, you know, comments. So I like the movie. The movie was very great. But if you want to see a better quality, go to this link. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, thanks again for watching and come back for the next episode where we will talk more about stuff. Butt stuff. <laughs> we'll talk about more Keep butt it stuff. Keep real. <laughs>